What's up guys, Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to find what sells on Redbubble, a little free tool that you guys can use and it'll help you out when you're trying to find out what's popular and what's really trending on there. If you're new to the channel, I like to talk about print on demand and making money online. So make sure you check out the print on demand playlist and the Teespring tutorial playlist. Have a look around the channel. I've got heaps of videos about drop shipping, print on demand, and just generally making money online. Heaps of videos to help you guys out. So let's dive into how to find what sells on Redbubble. Check out this free tool I've got for you guys. If you're new to the channel also, please give the video a like for me. Comment down below any questions or video suggestions you have and make sure you hit subscribe. Also, I have a free print on demand mastery Facebook page. Make sure you join that, link is down below. All right, so let's take a look at what's gonna sell on Redbubble for you. So we're just gonna go Google and then Redbubble popular tags. All right, and as you see down here, it's a bit of a weird looking website, but it's obviously a tool that someone has built and something that you can take advantage of. So we'll just click on this, show you how it works. So why this tool? I built this tool to help me better understand what's popular on Redbubble and how popular tags vary from week to week. By looking at this table, you can easily determine which tags gain popularity in the last seven days. So this is updated every week, once a week. I'll just move this. So last updated 26th of October, updated every Monday. So every Monday would be a good time for you to look at it, obviously, because you can get ahead of the game. But pretty much how it works, he's got it down here for you to check out. So what is this data? Popularity. This ranking indicates the popularity of a tag as provided by Redbubble. A lower value means the tag is more popular. So as you can see here, number one would mean it's the most popular. By the way, just change this to 100 entries so you can see more here. But all in all, there's actually 10,000 entries that are in here. So you can use this to your advantage and just see what is popular and also search out certain things and see what their popularity and what their ranking is and how, how they're trending over time. So results, this value indicates how many artworks contain a certain tag. It's generated once a week. Popularity, delta or change, this value shows the variance in popularity of each tag compared to the previous week. All right, so what we're gonna do here is have a look and what you can see, you can click on all these tabs. So we can click on this and go to the 10,000. So obviously least popular. This one here, you can see the variance over the week. So this is plus one, plus 13. So obviously there's popularity increase, but what you can actually do is click on this and also go to the bottom and see what has gone in the minus. So what's gone down that week. So this one's obviously gone heavily down. And then this one's obviously gone heavily up. So that's what we're interested in. And then you can go across and have a look at what the actual thing is. So iPhone case, uh, I need to speak to the manager. That'd be something to do with like a Karen or something I'm guessing. Uh, voting is hot. A bit of a play on words here with this one. Christmas in quarantine. So obviously you've got quarantine, which is a trending topic and then Christmas coming up. So that's very smart. Um, Halloween obviously is up as well and going Melbourne. I'm from Australia and Melbourne's really trending in Australia because of their lockdown laws. But anyway, let's click this back. So we'll just click over here and just go back to what we were. And then your results here, it's showing you how many results there are. So 35,260. Obviously there's a lot of results. So a lot of people are posting the same thing. And so what that means for you really is you're looking for something that's popular, but doesn't have as many posts. So obviously this would be good, 469, or click this, sorry. So something that's popular and has less sort of results. So what's this one, 189. Now, the problem here is that a lot of people get away with copyright things on Redbubble and Teespring, all the other ones, Amazon Merch as well even. So let's say that it is popular and it has less results and you think that's something you're gonna go for. You want to do your research and make sure you're not going to do any sort of copyrights or infringement issues because then your listing will get removed and you'll probably get your account banned. So if we look down here, this one's plus 3,703, 144. And then it looks like it's to do with mass. As a general rule, anything probably under 3,000 results would be ideal because you're going to be able to compete with that. So anything under 3,000 results and a rise in popularity is definitely something you should be looking into. So my only thing is 
make sure that it isn't a copyright issue. But yeah, if you if you just use this tool for that and just go something that's popular and or trending and then something that has under 2000 results, you're gonna have a lot of things to work with here. So there's a lot of things you can go and check out. So let's say we choose one here and just click through and see what it actually is. So this one here, your boyfriend sucks. Let's have a look at that. So it comes up with a lot of things to do with that actual specific keyword in here. And obviously this is some sort of trending thing. I don't know what it means, but obviously sometimes there's TV shows or, you know, different things, different memes going around, things like that, that you're not always going to be aware of, but obviously there is a trend for this right now. So it is handy for that. It's, it's gonna help you with your searching out popular things and then seeing how, how many people have got posts up and whether you can compete for that. Let's go for something else. So you got dog face. I assume that wouldn't be anything copyright. So let's have a look at that. So they're like dog masks really. So that's what it is. And it looks like it's a dog over your face, I guess. So yeah, again, definitely more things you can check out. And then you can go and check out some of these people's shops and see how it looks like their shop is going. So as you can see here, it looks like a dog face mask as advertised. If we just go back and you have a look here, the reason that these would be in the minus means they're removed listings. So that would also indicate that a lot of people are getting their listings removed because of copyright infringement. So if you see big variances like this in the minus, that's probably because people are getting their listings removed. So this one here is to do with Halloween, but there's probably a heap of copyright things to do with Halloween. As you can imagine, heaps of people would just be trying to make money off Halloween. So they'd be posting all sorts of things. Um, yeah, then you've got like movies like Harry Potter, of course, that would be copyright. So no wonder things like that are getting removed. And I'm music, Draco Malfoy, Red Bull. So these are all like things that obviously you can't, be uploading a lot of people do get away with it that's why other people try it but as you can see here lots of listings get removed and then you just end up getting your account banned and then you can't use Redbubble and Redbubble is an awesome website to use for your print on demand so if you see it in this column in the plus obviously that means that many more listings have been created around that so that would be something you'd want to be aware of and stay away from as well because you don't want to compete against someone or a heap of people when there's so many listings going up. So in general, this is just gonna help you with figuring out what sort of things that you can actually make money with on Redbubble. The best way to use it, as I was saying, is go for something that's popular, go for something that has less than probably 3000 results, I would say, so you can compete with that. So look for the rising popularity or the lower popularity in the left-hand column there. Check for something that's under 3000, so in the results column here. And then just be aware once you start going through and clicking through, having a look at different things here, make sure that it's not gonna be something that's gonna have a copyright infringement so you don't get in trouble. And that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. So definitely a cool tool that he updates once a week, like I said in the video. Uh, go check that out. It's gonna show you what's popular and what's trending and then obviously give you more ideas. Make sure to stay away from all them copyright infringements because you will get your account in trouble. And that's the same for all the print on demand providers. As I said at the start of the video, make sure you check out the print on demand playlist and the Teespring tutorial playlist. Definitely heaps of how to videos to help you guys out on the channel. Make sure you also join the print on demand mastery Facebook group, completely free group where everyone's helping themselves get ahead with print on demand. And I also chime in there and link videos, etc. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, make sure you hit subscribe.